Now we come to the part of which every 3D artist is afraid of, especially if you have to deal with such complex scenes, and I'm talking about rendering the final animation. As reward, in the end, you have your final animation, and in best cases, without any errors. But even if you are using very good computer hardware, this render process can take hours to days to weeks to render your final scene. On our personal computer, one frame of our animation has rendered 50 minutes, and I don't have a supercomputer here. That means if I would have rendered the complete animation on my computer, 400 frames, this would have taken 20k minutes. These are approximately 333 hours. So in the end, 14 days, that means two weeks. In our company, we have four of such computers. That means we have could render it on four computers. In the end, that would be 3.5 days for every computer. But that would also mean that we can't work on these computers while they are rendering. And this is not really great. But also, if you use your personal computer to render your scene and after a lot of days have passed, in the end, it also can happen that there is somewhere an error. That means you always have to check the rendered frames of your animation if everything works right. Yeah, and because of that reason, we have used a render farm for the render process. A render farm is simply an online service where you can upload your blend files and there it will be rendered on a network with a lot of computers. Yeah, and because of the reason that it will be rendered on a lot of very powerful computers, it just takes some hours to render your final scene, instead of weeks. In this video, I want to present you two render farms. One is a free service, Sheepit render farm, and one commercial but quite cheap render farm, Blender Grid. Blender Grid is also a sponsor of this workshop. That means if you bought the commercial version of this workshop, then you will receive 3 months of 20% discount while rendering on Blender Grid. Certainly there are a lot of more render farms, but here we want to show you these two render farms because they are very simple to use and also the cost benefit ratio is quite good. That means the one is completely free, certainly there are some limits and for the other you have to pay, but it's quite cheap. To show you the render farms, I have prepared a very simple 3D scene. And to take care on some important things, I have built up the folder structure just like for our big scene. That means in my project folder, I have a folder called Assets and another folder called Scene. In this folder, I have my final scene and also a folder with the textures for the scene. And in the assets folder, I have a bike, the plants, and a tree. And again, uh, texture folders for these blend files. And just like for our big scene, here I have linked all the assets files into my scene file. That means these blend files are linked to each other. And that I've done because here I want to show you how to use blend files with linked objects. That means if you just upload the scene blend file, certainly all the objects in the scene were missing because the assets are still on your hard drive and they are not uploaded. Okay, now let's make a test render for one frame to see how long this computer would take to render 50 frames of this animation. And then we can compare this with the render time of the render farms. After a short while my frame is rendered, you can see it took 3 minutes and 50 seconds. That means on my computer that would have taken 191 minutes. That means it approximately would take 3 hours. So if you want to use this scene with the linked files for a render farm like Blender Quit, you simply can select all your folders and zip them into a archive. That means you can pack everything inside like textures, blend files and also baked files for physics data. For this you can use the tool 7-zip. Then you can see we'll have this zip archive and this we can simply upload later on. 
Another advantage of this zip file is that the size is a little bit smaller if you compare it with all unpacked files. So there's a second possibility, this also works for the free vendor farm. For that you have to go into all your files, all the assets files and also the scene file and click on file, external data, automatic pack into blend. That means if you are using a file with an external data like a texture, for example a material is using this, this linked file then gets actually packed into this blend file. After you've done that, don't forget to save the different blend files. But now we still have the problem that the assets data are still linked into our main scene. And to fix this you can hit space, search for pack blender libraries. That means all the linked assets files will be packed directly in this blend file. Certainly this scene file uses a lot more space after you've packed all the files inside. And this I save under test scene packed. And you can see the original file was 28 megabytes big because the size was split up onto the different blend files and the file with the packed textures and the libraries is 171 megabytes big. Okay, let's start with the commercial when the farm blender grid. For that open blendergrid.com. This render farm is very simple to use. Up here just type in your email address. For choosing your blend file you can drag and drop it here or click on or browse. Then choose your file, in this case we use a zip archive. Then he immediately shows me which blend files are included in this archive. And in this way you also could render more than one blend file at once. But in this case I click on test scene because we just want to render this one blend file because all the other blend files are linked into this blend file. Down below we can choose the preferred render time. The shorter you set the render time certainly the higher the costs are. The great thing is no matter what you set up here before you start the render process and pay the rendering you can change this value and see immediately how the price will change. So in this case it doesn't really matter what you choose. After that I hit on submit and wait until the file is uploaded. So now the file is uploaded and here you can see some information about the file. For example the scene length, which file format we use, the resolution, the render engine and very important are the information under warnings. Because here Blender Grid shows you if something is wrong set up in your scene or missing. And that's important because then you avoid that you render your scene, for example, with missing textures and throwing your money out of the window. That means in any case, take care of these warnings. In my case, there are actually two textures I'm missing. In my case, I ignore this. And also down below here, you can see it says that some of the particle systems are not baked. For rendering all the particle systems and other physics settings should be baked. But if we take a closer look here, these are just the small plans and there we don't use any hair dynamics. That means we don't need to bake them, so we can ignore this here. And now we click on ignore warnings. That means we ignore these warnings and we can start the render process. A short while after it you receive an email. There you also can see the price, how much you have to pay for this rendering. If this is too expensive for you, you simply can ignore this email. This stays 48 hours active, after that it will be automatically deleted. But if you want to render it, you click on go to my projects. Here you have a very simple project manager and here you can see your waiting projects. And here you also can change the preferred render time. And then you can see how the costs are changing. In my case that doesn't make a real difference because it's quite cheap anyway. As you can see I can set the preferred render time to 120 hours. That means if you have a very complex scene and you want to render it here and if you want to render it very fast it maybe can be too expensive and if you increase the render time this can be much cheaper. Back here if you click on details you can see all the details again like the warnings and so on. And now I set the render time to 3 hours and then I click on pay and render. To pay you need a paypal account. 
Here I log in to PayPal and pay it and then it can start. Don't worry if you close your browser, you always can go back to your projects. With this email you've received, go to my projects and here you also can see if the rendering already starts and under check frames you can check if the rendered frames are fine. Yeah, and here you can see quite clearly that two of the ground textures were missing, but as you remember, this was showed in the warnings and I was ignoring this. That means in any case, you should take care on the warnings. Yeah, and after the rendering is finished, you receive another mail and here you can download the files. So if we check my mails, you can see 17 o'clock I started the rendering and 1740 I received the rendered images. So using this render farm it only took 40 minutes instead of rendering 3 hours on my personal computer. Yeah, Blender Grid you certainly can use for your personal projects, but such a commercial render farm is certainly more useful for commercial projects. So if you are creating your 3D scenes just as a hobby, certainly in most cases you are not able to pay for your renderings. On the one hand you can render it at home on your personal computer, but there's also a free render farm called Sheepit Render Farm. This you find under sheepit-renderfarm.com. Yeah, and here everyone can sign up and provide the personal computer as when the power for the network and everyone can upload projects. So this is a render farm which renders the project using the computers of the community. More infos about it you find on this website. I just show you very quickly how to use this render farm. Up here I can log in. Certainly you have to register before. And now I click on get started and I want to upload a project and so for adding a project go to the project page. And up here you can see which limitation this render farm has or on the other hand what's supported with this render farm. You can render using the blender render or cycles. You have to render it using single frames. You can't render it using a video file format. All external data have to be set to relative. Then you are not allowed to use any accents, that means local specific characters in your file names. Then every frame has to render under 20 minutes on a typical quad core machine. You can't render more than 3500 frames per Blender project. And certainly you can't render stuff containing nudity or racist content. And also for safety reasons all scripts were disabled if you upload a blend file. That means every external add-ons you may have installed and may use for your scene will be disabled. Yeah, every member can upload a project but now is the question if, for example, 10 people load up a Blender project, which will be rendered first and which will be rendered at last. That will be calculated according to the credits. That means if you provide your computer for rendering other people's projects, you gain credits. And the more credits you have, the faster your project will be rendered if you upload a Blend file. In my case I have 34k credits, that means I will be on the 8th place in a list of 30 projects. But no matter how much credits you have, you will always render your project first. Here you can upload a single blend file or also a zip archive, which includes all the external data like textures. But as far as I know what does not work is that if you have more than one blend file inside this archive, which are linked to each other. So for this render farm you need the file where we have packed all the external libraries. And here we have also a upload limit by 500 megabytes. After choosing the file I click on send this file and now I have to wait until the file is uploaded. After the upload you see some information about the project and also some warnings if there is something wrong with your file. In my case everything looks fine. Above you can see the start and end frame, you can change it if you like. And then I click on add this job. After that I click on administration and down here I enable allow GPU, 
that means also GPU machines can render this scene. Yeah, and if you want to provide your render power, then you simply click on get started, start the web client or download the Windows client. I'm cheeky here and the other people can render my job. But for that certainly I lost some of my credits. When the project starts rendering, you always can click up here to see your account. Here on the side under projects, you see which projects are rendering right now and also the finished projects. Then I click on our current project and here you can see a lot of squares. These represent all the frames of your animation. Gray means they are not rendered, blue that means they are rendering right now and green are the finished frames. Also under C frames you can check your frames and here I can click on the frames and you see everything looks fine, no textures are missing. Yeah, after a while my scene is finished. The render time certainly depends on different things, how many people are rendering right now and also how many credits you have and so on. In my case the accumulated render time was 3 hours and 24 minutes and the real render time 2 hours and 13 minutes. About 3 hours it would have taken on my personal computer, so 2 hours and 13 minutes are quite good for a free render farm. And the great thing, also in this time I can use my computer without interruption. Yeah, in this case I did not take part for the rendering and then I get this message here that I should consider give back some compute power or make a donation because so the render farm can stay alive. And certainly the next time I will do that. But this time I had to work on my computer while this thing was rendering. Yeah, now I can click on you can get your frames here. Then I can click on get archive frame and then the frames will be downloaded. Yeah, now I have downloaded the frames from Sheepit and Blender Grid. These are also zip archives and using 7-zip I can unpack these files. And if I take a look in the unpacked folders you can see all the single frames. So and if you want to convert this image sequence into a real video format you can open Blender, change the screen layout to video editing Click down here on add, image, navigate to your folder with all the images, select all frames pressing A, click on add image strip, then I add the properties editor down here, the resolution I set to 100%, set the FPS to 25, end frame I set to 50, and under output I choose movie AVJPEG, then it will be converted into an AV format, and using the JPEG it is also not too big but we still get very good quality. Then I choose a output folder, type in a name and then I click on animation and then the image sequence will be converted. Yeah, and here you can see the finished animation. And this certainly you can convert into other formats like mp4. For this I use the free tool FreeMake Video Converter and with this tool it's very easy to convert this file into other formats. And especially if you want to upload your video to YouTube, it's important that you have a quite small file size. Yeah, and that's it with the render settings and now you also know how to render your scene using a render farm.